Before we get into our training video, if by chance you found this video as a recommended video on YouTube, this training video is actually part of an extensive Corel Draw for Beginners training series from AdvancedTShirts.com. We have developed dozens of videos and we also have available on our website downloadable work along files that you can work with in Corel Draw while you're working through the training videos. Easily the best and fastest way to learn. If these videos are helpful to you, please take a second to add a like to the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can be notified when we upload new video content. And of course, in the comment section below, you can post your questions or your Corel Draw video tutorial requests. In this session, I'll do a quick overview of working with the toolbars in Corel Draw and customizing those and how we can customize our workspace with them. First, you want to make sure that you have them unlocked. By default, right click here, I get the right click contextual menu. By default, the toolbars are locked with your CorelDRAW installation. So if you go to a toolbar, for example, the property bar, right click here, you can come and disable down here, left click, lock toolbars. Then you'll see these small gray dots appear. You'll see your cursor change when you hover over them. You can left click, hold down, pull that out, and release. And that'll bring that out into your workspace. If you want to move that into a different location, for example, at the top of your CorelDRAW workspace, just release there, and the toolbox will be right there. We'll go back, left click, and bring this out into our workspace. You can also change the shape of these. If you hover over, you'll see the cursor change again and you can push this in and make it into a box. You could go to the title bar, left click, and bring this anywhere in your workspace. And I'll bring this down here. You can also add frequently used items or remove items from your toolbars and toolboxes through the circle with the plus sign in it at the bottom. If I go and click on that, you'll see that I can turn on or enable and disable different tools. Now if I want to have, for example, I can scroll down here. Let's say I want my outline flyout enabled and edit fill and edit color. And when I do that, those will be enabled. Click off, that'll close, and now I'll see those tools at the bottom of the toolbox. If I want to put that back, I'll just left click, hold down till I see the gray space there and release. Now it's back in position. So we can actually change where the toolbars are located in our workspace, the way we'd like to work with them. We can also enable and disable features and tools in our toolbars through the circle with the plus sign in it. And we can see that here. Now here everything is enabled. And I won't change anything there. So it's just a quick session on working with the toolbars, going further in customization. And as you work in CorelDRAW, you'll get a custom work setup that really suits you. And you're able to do a lot of customization in the CorelDRAW workspace. So we'll wrap here concerning the toolbars and we'll continue in our next session.